Well done. You have completed the starting with the basics chapter. This video provides a quick summary of the most important key learnings from the chapter. This module isn't compulsory, but acts as a good reminder to revisit as you progress throughout the course, re-familiarizing yourself with the main learning objectives from each chapter. So let's jump in with the summary. Lean is about doing more with less. More customer value, flexibility and customer focus with less time, resource and energy. Effective means doing the right things, while efficient means doing things right. So lean is about being effective and efficient. True lean companies realise that becoming lean is not a one-off project. You can never say, we have done lean or we are lean. Lean is a never-ending journey towards perfection. Lean requires three things to survive. One, maximising customer value. Two, identifying and reducing waste. And three, involving people. Lean teaches us that the customer plays the most important part in a continuous improvement and lean journey, because without customers, our business won't survive. The four main factors are quality, service, delivery, and cost. The more we can reduce the cost and pass it on to the customer as a lower price, the more value the customer receives. You get more customers, which leads to more profit, which is then reinvested to again improve quality, service, delivery or cost and the flywheel continues with the company growing faster and faster. Lean is a growth enabling strategy that maximises customer value by identifying and reducing waste by involving people. Waste can be best described as anything the customer isn't willing to pay for or anything that is not value adding. These wastes have been categorised into a list of eight different types. The eight types of waste are transport, inventory, motion, waiting, overprocessing, overproduction, defects, and finally, skills not being utilised. The best way to remember the eight wastes is through the acronym Tim Woods. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over but expecting different results. In order to manage this process and maximise the chance of success, it is vital to get the people that are impacted involved from the start. This is the single most common reason for change not sticking and improvements failing. The traditional approach is for managers to report problems down the triangle and push solutions down to the people doing the job. The lean way of doing this is to completely flip the triangle upside down. Every organisation in the world has hundreds or even thousands of very small problems that happen day to day. These small problems are opportunities for improvement 